guys. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty, day one of fall, season number six. My wife is carrying my son like a football, in a way. Um, <laughs> uh, can she go to work now? That is the question. Let's find out. Uh, she's out of the house. It doesn't say, quote-unquote, she's a mother. So, yeah, can I sign a workplace for her? Looks like I can. She's going to go to the barn a side worker. She is going to be a farmer. Oddly enough. Um, and uh, I'm going to have her make some stuff later on here in just a second. Um, okay, so she's a farmer. Rosalinda, you're going back to work and you're going back to work in the hunting lodge. And you are going to be a hunter for now. All right, so she's off to the barn. So let me go into management. Uh, let's go to here. So let me check up what, what comes first up. The barn? Okay, the barn. All right, so Inga, she's uh, working skill 10. Field workers, they'll be doing what they uh, they do. We're going to come in here and we're going to do a couple things. Um, fertilizer, it doesn't tell me which one is which. So you know what? Uh, we'll put you at 20% for fertilizer. Um, uh, free time is flax grain. Yeah, well, she can work a flax grain. Uh, flour, no resources. Uh, which flour, which one, uh, yeah, I mean, they gave me three choices. I don't know which one's which. I have no idea. Uh, daub. Yeah, go ahead and make some daub, why don't you? All right, so we're at 50%. I know we can make flour, so let's do wheat grain. No resources. I don't have any wheat grain in there. No resources. No resources. That's interesting. Um, let me go to a storage building, which is right here. Someone here has a quest. We'll figure it out here in a second. I also took the guy that we have. Uh, he is now, okay, so we got flax. Let me guess, is my, uh, that grain is going to be, no, the wheat is in here. So she can do wheat grain. Why can't she do, hmm. Uh, all the funds of trying to do this kind of stuff. Uh, wheat grain, wheat grain, wheat grain. No resources. I beg to differ. Uh, I'll put it at 25% and flour. I just wish I knew which flour was which. The problem is I'm putting work time into stuff that uh, apparently she cannot do. So I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, flax grain, you can work on fertilizer, 25%. And let's go down to Dob and we'll fill that out because I want to upgrade my houses a little bit as well. There, go ahead and get that done for me. So yeah, the worker we got, remember he had a skill of three in fishing. He is now going to be fishing. Oh, Rosalinda, I got to do the, I got to do the hunting lodge as well, don't I? Hunting lodge number two. So what are we doing here? So we're just doing uh, leather and salt and meat right now. Seems about right. You know what? Let's let's cut down salt and meat to about there, and let's bump up leather a little bit. And yeah, that's good. No workers. That's fine. So we'll push that on down to well, nothing because I don't have any workers. Um, I don't have any gatherers. I should say right. Hunter, hunter. I can make, you know, let's make her. Although she has a skill of five for hunting right now. You know what? I really don't need someone to gather berries at the current time. Let's leave it as is. All right. So someone here needs some attention. Huberta, who I do believe is taking care of the chickens. Let's see what she needs. Can I help you with something? The winter is coming and we have no food stored from last storm. Destroyed our... Could you please bring us some grain so we can survive? Uh, sure. I should be able to do this. 20 out. Uh, sorry, 20 not. You know what? Just uh, peanut. If you just, just go ahead and hit the F button and follow. Uh, so I'll get 30 reputation and 250 farming. Well, farming is really good. We need that. 29 oat, 29 wheat. Um, that's in my storage, right? Yes, not in food. Which kind of seems weird, I know, but uh, it is what it is, I think. 
Uh, wheat and oats, I do believe. Um, oat grain. Give me 29. I wish we could just, a box would come up. You can just like type in 29 instead of having to scroll over. Accept. And then wheat grain is here. Got plenty of that. One, no, no. There we go. There we go. Accept that. There we go. Easy peasy. Nice and easy. Actually, I could have my wife actually make some animal feed. That would work. Uh, here's the grain. Thank you. We forever in your debt. I can teach you a thing or two about farming if you want. Sure. Thank you. Uh, new building unlock. Fold. <gasps> we can get into some sheep. Sheepy sheepy. Um, how are our pigs doing? Do we have four? Probably going to end up with four hogs. There's three. Yeah, I got all hogs. No pigs. So, does anyone know that's done the pigs? If I were to get... I don't know. Do I have the option to even sell them? Hang on a second. Let's go into management. Let's go to here and pigsty. If I click on... I don't want to click on remove because I don't know what's going to happen if I do that. Hang on a second. Let's, let's, let me go here. Let me do a quick save. There we go. No, that's the wrong button. Uh, tab management. Let's go back down to pigsty, pigsty, pigsty. No, I'm, uh, you're in people. Hopefully one of your people is not called pigsty. All right. So if I click that, if I click remove, I think it's just going to sell it, right? Uh, one for the money, two for the show. Um, okay, what happened here? I, I, I said remove and they're all still here. Did it actually do anything? All right, it still shows them that they're there. But now I'm not getting any. But they show them here. And my money didn't go up either. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. So let me reload the game because of reasons. I don't know what happened. Let's hopefully they're still in my pigsty when I reload the game. All right. So that didn't take too long. Let me go back into management and make sure if I go to pigsty that it actually shows them in there. Maybe I would have gotten money at the end of the day or something. I'm not sure, but it shows up my hogs there. And it shows that we are getting manure still. Um, okay, so I'm not really sure what goes on there. Maybe in the future, they'll clarify that a little bit better. I'm not sure. What was I going to go up to check? I don't remember I was going to go check. But uh, we can get sheep. But I don't think we can get... Uh, is it under farming? Uh, fold. Can I buy shearing scissors? I can. Uh, do I do I want to build and get involved with some sheep's wool? I mean, I think we could. Now knowing that I need to build a fence all the way around, it wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of put them a little bit closer together, in a sense. All right. So what do I need to do? A sheep's fold. 10 logs? Where am I going to get logs this time of the year? Yeah, we know. In my resource building. 10 logs. Let's go ahead and build this as she tops down a tree that won't disappear. Alright, I should have plenty of logs. And I can grab well, 30 kilograms. Oh, look at that. Boom. Clicked right on it. 12 logs. I do have some leather shoes on me. I went ahead and made some leather shoes last night because we had like 150 leather. So I thought, uh, let's leather it up. So I did. All right, so hopefully I can build this here somewhere. Uh, not in front. Of, boy, I really like to get a better view of where I am here. Because what I would like to do. All right, can I jump the fence here? This may look a little bit stupid, but then again, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. But then again, I never do. Uh, boom, place it on down. Uh, hammer, uh, logs and sticks. All right, so mostly sticks. No more resources. We can get the resources. Oh, my taxes are going to be a pain in the butt this upcoming year, aren't they? Uh, logs, let's go ahead and just grab like 
that many and sticks. I think I'm getting low on sticks, believe it or not. I'm down to 51 sticks. I don't think I'm going to have enough sticks to build this building, which sounds weird. And now I feel like a fool because I sold a lot of my sticks back in the spring, I do believe. I'm going to have to go collect some sticks. Are you kidding me? Oh, well. It's not like we can't find sticks, right? Oh, my hammer. My hammer's gone. Uh, the good news is our blacksmith, he was making a good amount of hammers, so I don't have to make any myself. I can just come pop in here. Iron hammer. Grab one. Did, did I grab one? I said grab one. There we go. And then I got to put it back into my hot bar. Yeah, some there. There was a kind of little discussion on there on the Discord channel of why um, things will stay in the hot bar, and like someone says, well, we don't really have a backpack to store it that way. I kind of get what he's saying, or she was saying, whoever said it. Kind of makes some sense in in a way, but it also seems kind of weird. Yep, I'm gonna run out of sticks. And Reese is going to run out of stamina because he always does. So I need, um, oh, I still got some logs on me. All right. And all right. So I need some straw and I need five sticks. Well, one, two, three. No, can we four? No, I don't want the mushroom. I want the stick. Give me the stick. Oh, wait. I need more than that. Apologize. I can't count my walls here. Uh, I need one log, six sticks. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. One log and straw. One log and give me the straw. We'll just grab all of it because, and I'm not going to use it all, but I don't want to keep making trips back and forth. And then I'll need planks to make a little bit of a fence line so our sheep won't run anywhere. And then I'm just going to need someone to maintain our sheep. Baba sheep. I'm not too concerned about the fence line because we really don't have an issue with animals coming down here and attacking our animals. We kind of got a stone wall up there that uh, we fiddled with for half a day in a ways. There we go. Fold complete. And I'm still overweight. Must be all that straw I grabbed. Yeah, so I want to start, I know I've been saying for a while, I want to upgrade all the houses so now that I can see that the house that I built for me and my wife doesn't make much difference in, in mood happiness. I mean, it did a little bit, but not much. But um, yeah, we got these houses with the nice roofs on them. So if I put some daub on it, we'd be good to go. And speaking of good to go, I think we are good to go. Uh, I'm, I'm in no rush to buy a sheep or, sh or sheeps have no idea but uh yep oh no over to gostovia um actually i need to stop at my warehouse because we're gonna pick up some iron arrows because it's a new season so everyone should have some cash on them uh, let me go ahead and sell these as well uh animal feed i should make some of that maybe so i'm just curious dob up to 42 i could start doing some of that uh, how are we doing elsewhere? I do have a lot of iron, man. I can make a lot of iron, but I don't have any sticks. Seems weird. Up to 196 planks, that's good. Got a good amount of rocks going. Yeah, so I don't understand why she cannot... I was trying to have her do some... So we have rye. We have 235 wheat. I don't know why I couldn't get my wife to... It says no resources. Now that she's actually in there, let me go back in here and see if I can fiddle with that a little bit now that she's in there. And if I go to here, 
Uh, so, yeah, if I go to y, y grain, <laughs> rye grain, let me take down some of the fertilizer. And if I go rye grain, it says no resources. Yeah, so I'm not too sure about that. So we are getting some fertilizer over one an hour. That's pretty darn good. Uh, flax grain, she's getting one per hour. Flour, I mean, she should be able to make flour as well. Hang on, let me just take 5% from there so I can maybe... No resources. I'm not sure. I'll put it into Dob though. We'll get up to 1.4. I could... Uh, will she make animal feed? She won't make animal feed. 10 wheat grain and straw. We got that. So I'm not quite sure... How that's all working out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Anyways, uh, we fiddled around half the day here. Let's go on over to Gostovia. No one with a quest over there. Maybe I'll actually head to Boruwu and we'll talk to a couple people. And I think we've been talking to a few people over there. I need workers for the barn, basically. Uh, you know, get some help from my wife. I need someone now to run the sheep fold. So if we decide to buy some sheep. Uh, I don't know if I will buy some this year or not. Because I need to start saving up for our taxes. Yeah, our taxes are going to be up around 4000 I think, this year. So someone did ask, and I forgot about last episode, but someone did ask, what happens if you don't pay your taxes? And I don't think I probably mentioned it uh, now that I think about it because I didn't have an answer, but someone did reply and said, yeah, if you don't pay your taxes, um, you still won't pay your taxes. And when each day you pass without paying your taxes, apparently you lose 1,000 dynasty reputation. I mean, ouch, that's, uh, that's pretty huge. That is pretty huge. So I'd say make sure you have your money when spring comes around to pay your taxes. But by now, you you would probably know that already. Um, I think you're Ida. Yes, you are. My mother-in-law, who thought it was weird, I'd ask her why I was asking how she was. Anyways, let's go into here. Okay, I left some stuff in, in my inventory. That's fine. Um, simple shoes. Here, you can buy those for me, right? Yeah, she has 800 and some odd, so I didn't get much for that. Uh, okay, we'll come in here, and you know what? We'll sell you the iron arrows, because why not? And I still have some... No, she took all of them. Iron bolt, iron bolt. So this happened to be the right amount, apparently, because that left her with five coins. While we're here, um, do you have a minute? Uh, what a damn working almost on stop. I'll ask her how she's been lately. I'm fine. What's it with you? Well, at least I didn't lose any points. I don't think I lost any points last time either. Uh, how's the job? Hope you're doing all right. She's not going to like that either, I don't think. I oh, know she likes that. Okay. Do you have a minute? Okay. Nah, she's done. Now she's done. So diplomacy, we're still kind of working on that. Uh, who here has the quest? Someone up here has a quest. I want to build up my reputation still a little bit more. Because when we talk to people, we get... Um, diplomacy points and two I think at some point there'll be like a chapter 10 and we might be able to get more buildings can I help you with something I've done uh, Gerwin I'm 60% approval with you already uh, hey young man I need your help I'm an elderly person I'm unable to craft tools could you please bring me an axe oh we can we can really do that the question is which type of axe are you looking for stone axe 300 crafting, 50... Okay, I, um, I believe I got one on me. Uh, here's the axe you wanted. Thank you so much. All right. Um, yeah, he knows some recipes. 65% of pure approval. Good to go. Quest complete, new axe. Yes, we are great. All right, so hopefully... Okay, what do we got over here? A lot of people. And one worker. So she is good in the farming area. So she could be, well, first off, I got to get someone with her. And apparently I haven't gotten nowhere with her before. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? Uh, uh, she's not a hunter, but I'll ask her. Okay. Plus two. It's something. Um, do you have a minute? I got back from work in the field. Tough job. Okay. She's a field worker. Approval of 10. That's good. Please let me talk to you again. Uh, have you heard any gossip lately? Have you seen a noble passing by? 
Uh, neither one is going to work, I don't think, but maybe gossip-wise. Oh, she likes to gossip, and now she's going to say, oh, no, she's going to talk to her again. Hunting is not going to get me there. It's two points. She's at 67. I think this is the last chance I'm going to get to talk to her either way, so let's try nice weather. I don't think she's going to like it. Oh, no, she did like it. Oh, good, 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 good. Um, I'm creating new settlement. Sounds like I was looking for with pleasure. Uh, fantastic. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Yes, you can stare at me all you want. Oh, man, i got to pronounce your name now. Uh, <laughs> Zygmunta? Zygmunta. Munta. Zig. Maybe I'll just call you Zig. Oh, man, I'm, I know a lot of you are going to say, you're pronouncing it wrong. Of course I am. Um, you know what? I got to go now. Goodbye. But at least you're, you're, you're in our dynasty here. Management. Okay. So where, where, oh, where do I just put her in the barn to help out Inga? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put her into the barn to help out Inga. No sense of making her do, get ready to the, uh, what's it called? The fold. No sense of putting in the fold because I don't have no sheep right now. Right. Let's go ahead and put her into the barn. And she could be a farmer. There, she's farming. Uh, what's her skill in farming again? Three. So now we have a total skill level of 13 in the barn. So all those up production for now. So that works out. We go, yay, yay, we got another worker. Uh, if I go here, did she move into the house that was vacant? Do I have any vacant houses now? I do not have any more vacant houses at all so probably uh we are going to go to over to gostovia am i filthy no i'm only at eight percent we're fine um we're gonna head over to gostovia to see what they got for workers i mean might as well it's just right there and then i think i'm gonna have to go back to the village because probably before i get any more workers i may have to build a house and i may build too because we still got that original house that we built i don't want to tear it down just yet because it's it's a nice i mean we made that all out of logs so it's a nice simple house to just keep up for now so maybe i'll just build one other house and maybe upgrade a couple others um now that my wife and now this uh ziga or whatever <laughs> whatever i want to call her is working the barn we'll get some more daub yeah we need some daub just to make the houses better but yeah working our diplomacy as well because i would like to get if we go to skills, yeah, we'll click on diplomacy this time. Yeah, we're, our diplomacy is getting up there, which is good. And so now I can get something like tier three, which is likable 5% bigger base like. Uh, say my name from quest. 20% 20 more, 20 more dynasty reputation from quest. It seems like a lot. And it kind of is. So if you look at it, if you if you were to get, in theory, 30 dynasty reputation, you're talking six more dynasty reputation from doing a side quest. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it, you know, it's not too bad. But right now, we really don't need that, so I'll probably go with likable. Additional mood for each inhabitant. That that would be really good, actually. And then, of course, then we get up to tier four. But I got a ways to go in diplomacy before I can get another point. So, um, I think I talked to you before. Yeah, he does have some crafting abilities. 50% approval. He is 27 years old, but right now we're just trying to get uh, people in our village. I don't think he's a gossip talker, and I don't think he's going to really care about nobles passing by. But let's ask him about the noble. Wow. Okay. Wow. 15. I did not think you would really care about that. Um, do you have a minute? What a day have been working nonstop in a field. Does he like that? Of course he does. Oh, okay. I would love to join you, but I'll need a house there first. Come back with me when you have a place for me there. All right, so yeah, our problem is we got too many couples uh, over there. Do I need to really talk to anyone else right now or get back to building? Uh, get back to building. They do not have sheep here, do they? I think they have them over in Danica. Is it Danica? That's the wrong button. Uh, Danica. I believe they got sheep. I'm just curious what the price is for sheep. Because right now I got 2200 yeah, they got geese and cows. Yep, geese, uh, they're 2,000 or 1,500 for a gooseling. Um, just curious for the for the people who ha have been doing the geese. 
I'm guessing we just get feathers. I don't think, I mean, eggs would sound kind of logical as well. But since the hens are for chi uh, hens are for chickens, the hen house is for chickens. But uh, they give us eggs. I'm assuming the goose is going to give us feathers. I would think. And of course, the cattle going to give us milk. Uh, okay, so we're all set here. They do not have sheep, which is fine. So we need more housing. Need more housing. Why does it show me where the tax, where um, Utigast is? He is in here, right? Actually, they got geese down here as well. Interesting, they got two houses. Is this just a regular house over here? Yeah, just a regular house. All right, Peanut, get back to, to your village and get to work. We got, we got a house to build, apparently. So I'm going to need logs and stones, which we got plenty of. So I should be able to make another house. And the question is, where do I want to put it? That is the question. I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Because we've been making some room. So we're, so we're all good there. So I think I'll build the house first. And then I'll upgrade uh, some other houses that still have straw roofs. Because that's going to re require planks. Do I have enough planks to do that? Uh, upgrade the other houses first. Uh, I say we build a house first and then see what material I got left. And go from there. So, yeah, the sheep, uh, the whole sheep thing, that is basically to get wool. And that is wool linen, wool thread, that kind of stuff. Like I said, I hope, hopefully as this game develops more and more and more, um, we will have to uh, get supplies for our villagers. So our village will say, hey, we need some, you know, our feet are cold in the winter. We need uh, some boots. And we can say, well, we'll make some boots. We'll get that, we'll get that going. Um, where do I want to put this house? I mean, I can probably sneak it in here. But I don't, I don't want to cram my villagers right now either. I, I just really don't. So I think I'm going to put it on the other side of our house. Because why not? So we'll just grab as many logs as I can grab. My weight should be awfully low. I'm at 9 kilograms. So I, I should actually, I do want to go up and look at my wife in the barn because she's still holding our child as she works, apparently. Uh, let me just grab, uh, I'll grab 16 because it's going to, that didn't weigh me down too much. So I'm not going to build the house. I'm just going to build a house. And there's a fishing hut right over there. All the houses right now, I guess, are going on the river after I said, the only house will be on the river will be mine and my wife's. And now, yeah, we're just putting them everywhere on the river. Uh, so this house right here, give ourselves a little bit of room. I'm going to try to put it, okay, not that far back, but uh, right there is good. Grab the hammer. And now we got to do this whole thing of door, stone. Um, is it, wait, is this a window wall? That's just a regular wall. Okay, so this... I mean, I realize I can make it any way I want to, but I, I tried to make it the same as is. I wonder if I were to change and give it, like, more windows, would uh, people like that more? I have no idea. All right, this is a window stone. Yeah, you've seen this many times at this point. But stone is the way to go. If you can afford it. Go ahead and get that uh, to here. And of course, this is going to require some planks. Now, this is the only reason that it might be good to build that house right there. Because this has six sections, six sections of roofs that require 12 planks apiece. Yeah, that's that's we're talking almost 70 planks. That only has four sections of roofs that need 12. So you're down to almost 44. I mean... Uh, 48. So yeah, you can save yourself a lot of planks by doing that. But I want my house to stand out from the rest. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Oh, no, no, no. This wall I did not upgrade. Hang on a second. All right, now I just wasted I just wasted some logs there, but that's that's me. Uh that's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and get this built. Well, as I'm building my house, it must be 6 o'clock in the evening, or is it 4 o'clock? 
it's a four o'clock, no, six o'clock in the evening, they, they call it quits. That's my wife walking back to the house, and uh, where's the kid? Where's the kid? Oh, she lit the fire. All right, so when she was, uh, so, so, wait, I, let me get in here before. Uh, what you do with our son? What did you do with him? <laughs> I don't know where he is. She carried him up to the barn. Is he like walking around here somewhere? I don't know. Have to look. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're getting along pretty nicely with the house here. I thought about it afterwards. I could have been building this at night. But I'm an idiot, so I'm doing it during the day. It's fine because I didn't want to run off to any other town today anyways. Because I can't get no workers. I don't want to get somewhere and like, oh, you can get workers, but you have no place to put them. So the way it is, I do believe that my hammer just broke. Uh, I, I know that much. <sighs> well, while I'm here, I must have grabbed some more planks. Luckily, I'm going to have enough planks to finish the house. Yeah, let me grab one of those and planks. Plank, 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 planks. And let's see, I can carry 13... So, somewhere around there should be good. I'm going to be a little bit fat, but that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Your hammer's not in your hot bar again, so you got to go ahead and do that. There we go. I wonder if they made an iron axe yet. I don't know. So, I'm also going to I'm going to want to put fireplaces around everyone's house. That way, it just lights up our village at night a little bit more. May as well. It may not bring everyone pure happiness, but uh, it'll bring them a little bit of joy. I have no idea. Probably does nothing, but which we know as of right now. Hammer out there, race Amir. You're not going to have enough to finish the house, but uh, we should be able to do it one more trip. So that's why it's good to... Oh, I do have the rocks with me. I'm like, uh, I forgot a wall here. Oh, but that's why it's good to leave maybe your blacksmith to make, be like a little bit of making some iron hammer so you don't have to. Am I going to have enough to finish this building? Oh, no. I need six more. All right. So, I need 18 more. 18 more and we'll have another house. So, so far, the full day of fall, I, I have not needed any water or food. But then again, I haven't ran around as much as I usually do. Uh, 18 more pieces of plank. And I do have enough to upgrade the other houses as well, which is good. Uh, I am wondering though, is that the house that has the two guys in it? And if I do that, he will come over and take this house. Uh, yeah, because we heard that problem before. Just like Ray Samir is always out of stamina. I have all the stam I can uh, upgrade to. <laughs> I'm just always out of it. I was to come down here and get a drink of water while I'm trying to regain some stamina. And man, our taxes. Yeah, because I just keep building more and more. Our taxes are going to be extreme next year. What is the one in Diplomacy? Uh, that's under Skills. If I go to Diplomacy, I know it says 10% says, uh, smaller taxes, so I can get it to almost 30%. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. All right, so I'm just going to come back in here for a second. There's my wife. No child. Uh, I say child because I don't remember my son's name, which is uh, Swidden. Swidden. Too bad I can't click on him to see, like, where he is. Inga? I have no idea. Is he in the tavern? There's actually a few people in the tavern. Tavern looks awfully busy, which is good. 2213. I don't think people are buying stuff in the tavern. Well, look at the people we got in the tavern. Well, hello, everyone. I'm glad I got two of you back here. The tower's looking pretty darn good. Uh, shut the door in my face, why don't you? Jeez, how rude. Yeah, I can see up there that something glowing. That's a stone wall that we have not finished. And this house here is a house I need to take the straw in and uh, make that a nice roof. Anyone actually in here? Uh, Natamir. Anything in your chest? No. 
Nothing in your chest. Yeah, you guys do need a fireplace over here, don't you? To kind of lighten it up. Uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and do this. And 12 rocks, 6 firewood. We can do that. Twelve rocks, six firewood. We'll just build one over here. Did I say twelve rock? Yeah. Of course I did. And we'll put it like right there. I'll light it for them. So they know that they have one out here. Just to give them a little bit of light. Actually, I probably should put it on this corner away from the storage building. And probably away from the straw roof. Alright, so I'll, I'll upgrade your building tomorrow because he's sleeping. I want to kick him out now. But I could start upgrading some of the houses with some daub. Which would not hurt. I don't know if I upgrade the walls. Am I going to kick people out? So that's, that's, the, um, that's their daughter. Casimira. So is my son. Okay, it shows her. Uh, I, okay, my son's just. I don't know. So I guess the children may be wa out walking around now. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. He's up. Alright, he's he's doing the. Oh, yeah, stamina, stamina, stamina. Where actually is he? He's. Is he on the roof? Or no, he's actually going to be up in the attic, apparently. Alright, so apparently, my guess is he's actually just supposed to sleep in this bed. And that's mine, me and my wife's bed. Makes sense. Alright, so what am I going to do this evening? Well, I'm going to do something. I'm probably going to sleep a little bit so everyone kind of resets. But let me come in here. Make sure my inventory is pretty much empty. Where is the daub? I got a lot of it. I can carry something like 35 kilograms. We'll accept that. I'm a little overweight. Like always. And Rosalinda. Rosalinda's house will get upgraded because, well, she has a, a, a little girl in there. So let's go. I'm going to go upgrade her house. I'll see you in the morning because I know when it gets this dark out here like this. It's not good viewing pleasure for you, so I will see you in day two of fall shortly. Not quite morning yet, but I figured I'd bring you back as I go to bed so we can wake up and see if our son is actually over in bed or not. Uh, if we wake up, actually our son is waking up over by Inga. Swidden. Can I, can I, I cannot interact with with him at all um he's got some pretty decent stats though for for a two-year-old not too bad considering just some workers out there so yeah i was going to upgrade rosa linda's house and then i decided not to because well her house is logs not stone yet why are, why are you guys all going back to to bed why are they going to bed i have no flipping clue what the heck they're doing but apparently um, they're tired. I have no idea. So I was looking at a few things in my management before I went to bed. Uh, I'm down to be able to be able to be building three more buildings. That's it. We're considered a town. Our food demands up to almost 18 per hour, which is okay. And wood demand right now is only at uh, 4.2 per hour. But when winter comes, that's going to go up. Our population is 20. Pretty soon to be 21 because I we are going to get ourselves a worker. We're going to go ahead and over to Gostovia. But before I do, let's stop into our storage building to see if they made enough iron arrows again for me to sell. And... No. They make any yesterday? Oh, no, I went right past them. Sorry. Sorry, I went right past them. Uh, we'll grab those. Got myself another... No, that's our pickaxe. Um, I think I have to make it an, an axe. Do I not? Oh, I got to go back into that now. Management. Uh, smithy, smithy, smithy. Where's the smithy? Right here. 
I could put a worker in there. So what, what I got him doing here? No resources for a stack of... Oh, I'm out of sticks. And that was me, uh, yeah, hissing. Uh, so yeah, he is supposed to be making an iron axe. And hammer. So we're out of sticks. I need to start collecting some sticks. I mean, my loggers should be doing... Did I... Wait, wait, wait. Um... Yeah, let me go into Lumberjacks now, because I forgot we can change that. And did I change that? Is that why we're running out of sticks? Uh, where did I go? Oh, Woodshed. Woodshed, Woodshed, Woodshed. Um, sticks. Yeah, they're not collecting sticks. All right, so let's bring down that to there. Now, yeah, let's get some sticks in there. Uh, planks, we're doing okay. I think this setup is good here. Hey, you guys need to start collecting sticks. I kind of forgot that I did that. Um, so that's my bad. Like most of the time it is. Uh, so I'm going to grab some sticks here. So when my workers, I don't know if they're all sleeping or what the heck they're doing this morning. I went to bed, so they should be getting up with me, I would think. Seems like it's working backwards. I give myself a wash because I don't know when's the last time I gave myself a wash. I'm not dirty or anything, but uh, there we go. While I'm over here, food store. This building's probably falling apart a little bit. Kind of is. Wait, do I have food on me? Uh, I do. But we'll eat a couple of them. And let me come into here and grab. Well, I don't have anything. Really. Man, I, I need to make some meals. I need to make some. I should have done that last night. Uh, cabbage. I got tons and tons of cabbage. And tons and tons of meat. All right, I'm good enough for now, so I'll probably do that tonight. But let's head on over to Gostovia. Yeah, I don't have that much to sell. Just 50 stack arrows, but we're going to go ahead and get ourselves another worker. What am I going to do with him? I might actually put him into the smithy so we can double our, our progress on making some, some arrows and all the other stuff. Because uh, that's where our money is going to come from. Because building all these buildings, yeah, my tax is going to be up to 4000 So I need to make some more iron arrows. Now, the problem is the vendors, I think they said resupply themselves with some coins every season. But I thought they said 1000 But I went back to a couple vendors at the beginning of one season. And they only had like 800 or 900 which is still decent. But it's just not the stack of money that we were hoping that they have. Because if I keep going around selling arrows... Eventually, uh, yeah, we're just going to, you know, drive people up with the cash. So I think this guy was good at crafting, so I can put him in the smithy to double our production. Because I think the other uh, smithy worker that we have is not that highly skilled either. All right, I'll talk to you in a second. I think you're the one. You may not have much. No, you got some cash on you. Uh, good for you. Iron arrows, where are they? So 350 coins, that's that's something. Uh, sticks? No, I'm, I'm keeping my sticks. Uh, you know what? Do you have a minute? Uh, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? All right, so she approves of that. Uh, hope the job, hope you're doing all right. She approves of that. Uh, wait, I asked her to move a bit. No, wait, no. Have, do you have a minute? No, okay, she's got to go now. That's fine. Diplomacy at its finest. All right, uh, Rambert, you're the one I talked to. All right, 75% um, approval. I thought you were 28. Now you're 27. Was that right before? Was he? I thought he was okay. It doesn't matter. Um, sounds like what I've been waiting for. Yeah, I built you a house, dude. So um, go for it, Rambert. So management, let's go down to Rambert. He's a new dude. Uh, we'll sign you into. The smithy, if I can find it in my... There we go. And you are a craftsman. So now if I go into here... So combined, they got a skill of five. Whoa, they're tearing it up. Um, but they should be decently doing better now. Soon you guys will have an iron axe... Yeah, they're not making that many iron axes a day, are they? So basically in a day, they're making... 
just just one maybe if that if that if that so right now they're working on that and I should show two others. No resources for arrows. Did I have them stop making the hammers? Must be I did. Stack of 50 iron arrows. Iron axe. Yeah, so must be I had them stop making the hammers, which is, is fine. Alright, so I'm going to bring... I'm going to uh, go back to the village. I'm going to bring some sticks with me. No, that's not a stick. That's a, that's a thing. Yep, we'll grab these. So hopefully our lumberjacks now will bring in some more sticks. I can't believe I, I, I had him stop making, collecting sticks. But either way, drop these off into our inventory. And I think I'm going to upgrade one of those houses that we have. So their uh, mood will go up a little bit. Oh, give me more branches. Give me more sticks. Well, here we are to the famous house with a straw roof. Let's go ahead and grab our hammer, which is almost worn out. I need to destroy thatch roof, thatch roof, thatch roof. Yep, get rid of all this. And pretty soon we're going to find out who is homeless. All right, uh, do build and then do this. Luckily, the storage building is right next to us. You know, I'll just gonna, I'm just going to get it built, then see who I can put back in here. That's the, that's the situation we're going to be in. Uh, six logs for sure. Accept, and then come on down here to planks. And I can carry about 20... Yep, close enough. You don't really need to be carrying that much peanut. You're just like right here. But I can't help myself, I mean... <laughs> You just try to carry most of what you can. But pretty soon we'll be a little bit lighter. That is a lot of planks for a roof, I'm sorry. 12 planks per, and there goes my hammer. Like I said, I have my blacksmith. No, I don't want the torch. I want to come in here and then grab a hammer. And then come in here and do iron hammer. And yep, there we go. We're all set. And while I was there, I could have grabbed more planks. But we're going from the crappy roof to the best roof that's available. All right, let's get some planks and finish this on up. Although I'm not going to be able to carry enough to finish it up this time. I was gonna look like. Do I have any fish in here? Cause I should. I should have fish, but I'm not in the right storage building. That would be food storage is where the fish is going. I think I have them at seventy percent fish and thirty percent salted fish. I'm gonna be just short because I need thirty six, and I only got thirty. But everyone's mood's going up. I used all the daub that I could as well last night. Why well, don't say I want to say all of it? Enough so I can finish two houses. So I need to upgrade Rosalinda's house, which is right. Uh, that's the log house down there. But the problem is, as we know, when you rebuild, they move right out. So that kind of sucks. I think it has the good roof on it, though, so that saves me a lot on planks. Wait, what did I grab? I must have grabbed logs. Did I grab logs? Yep, I did. You need planks. Six planks. And suddenly, the amount of planks I had is dwindling. But luckily, our woodshed is making planks. There we go. So if I go in here, management. Uh, oh, good. So it was, a, I don't want to say a couple, but assign house. 
accept that and hopefully her I can sign a house oh I can put her in either house uh, we'll put her in this one right here accept that all right so they are their mood should be up a little bit better because now they have a fixed roof and it is a tiled wood tile roof this is a wood tile roof as well I just got to knock it all down and make it out of stone but this is where Rosalinda lives and uh, their little child so I don't no, I mean, yeah, I, I, it's fine if I were to kick, kick him out, but I'm trying to make it a little bit more realistic. All right, so we got two two guys in here working now. I brought back 106. Uh, they should be good to go for a while. I just want to check in this. I do have some firewood in here, not too much. Uh, I want to come up here and look at the food storage. I want to see how we're doing for fish and overall capacity. Uh, we're starting to push our capacities. We got 49 fish. And I got one salted fish. Probably a little low on the salt. Man, I got a lot of I got a lot of food and stuff in here. Flax grain, oats. I got oats in here. Should that be in is this where So I still don't know why. If I go to the barn and I go to here. Let me just take away a little bit on fertilizer for a second. Oh, now it says working. Uh, let's cut back on the fertilizer. I don't need I don't need fertilizer for now. So let's go ahead and just work on the wheat grain. Go ahead and do that. Actually, if I cut you back, can you do no resources? No resources. Um, if I go to my barn, which is down here now. Yeah, they're working. Uh, so rye grain, wheat grain, oat grain. Wait, where do I make the flour at? Is it here? I know, I'm kicking around everywhere I go. Where do, where do I make the flour? Oh, so if I come in here, they stop working. Got it. Oh, so it's flour. Oat grain, wheat grain, rye grain. Let me go to technology. Have I unlocked all of them? Maybe that's the problem. I mean, I got a lot of problems. Barn one. No, it's just flower. It doesn't matter. I'm not really sure then. Anything else I should be unlocking? While we're here, not really. A bucket would be nice. 500 points away from making buckets. Alright. So I don't know why they can't make flour. Because we have the grain to do so. I'm not really sure what's up with that. So. Yep. But now they can uh, make wheat grain. Rye grain. All that kind of stuff. Right now let's have our set of wheat grain. Our chickens are doing. Chicken things. She's doing. Her bird is doing her thing. Um, so yeah. On the housing front here. I got one house, open details, not a mirror. So I, the next person I hire technically is going to have to be a female in a way. And the simple small house is damaged, which is the first house that we built. Oh yeah, the wood is starting to come crumbling down, isn't it? All right, so I do have two people living in there. Let's go up to uh, Danica. No, is it Denica? Yeah, Denica. I'm going to pronounce it Denica, I suppose. Uh, let me just go in here and see if they made any iron arrows, because why wouldn't I? Iron arrows, yes, they made some. That's good. Uh, animal feed, cabbage seed. Cabbage seed is worth something. I should actually probably sell some of the seeds that I got. Fertilizer, I'm up to 109, which is not really that much. Flax grain, I should start making some of that stuff. Limestone, I don't know what it's used for yet. Man, we're just making tons and tons of manure. At least the pigs are. Uh, manure sells for two. Fertilizer sells for five. All right, so they, they did drop the price in that. Um, doing okay on salt now. Wool thread is worth 50. How much is uh, linen thread? 
that's worth 50 as well. I can make lots of linen thread and sell that. Let's go past uh, our farming fields to see what they're up to. So he is planting rye at the current stage, and this was oats. And over here... Okay, so she's fertilizing fertilizing the field. So that must mean it's ready for planting. Well, well, they're doing work. And like I said, we got more than enough food as it is. All right, so on up to Denica. And we'll see what the quest is up there. Um, I want to see. I think they have sheep. I just want to see how much they go for. I don't plan on buying one because I don't have a worker for them anyways. But I just want to prepare myself. And plus, being that we're... Just about halfway through fall. I want to start saving up the cash that we are getting. Because I think my tax is going to be at 4000 If not over 4000 Next time. Ouchie, ouchie. What I do with the crossbow when I'm out walking now. Is I get my crossbow out and get it loaded up. Better to get it loaded up and have it ready. So if you were run, to run, run across something that would attack you. You're ready to go. Because once you put it away you have to reload it again. But anyways here we are up here. Um, let me come to the sewing room first, which I do believe is this building right in front of me. Oh, she's not here. Uh, while we're here, while well, I said I do need a female, uh, well, you're good at hunting, which is whatever, and fishing and diplomacy. And, well, yeah, okay, so, yeah, your stats overall are not the greatest. Uh, where is everyone? Looks like they're over here in their house. I just want to sell these, uh, iron arrows that we have. Uh, show me your wares, first of all. And we'll come over here. No, nope, gotta come here. Make sure I always sell the iron arrows. That price seems to be coming down a little bit, or is it just my imagination? Anyways, 50% uh, approval after I help you gather all the logs for your your village here. Uh, how have you been lately? Okay, so he likes that. Do you have a minute? How's the job? Hope you're doing right. Just got back from work in the field. Tough job. Um, oh, he did not like that. It's hard and dirty. I wish I could work in some cozy place like the sewing. Uh, all right, so that didn't quite work out, but, uh, no, okay, so he has to go. That is fine. Just work on diplomacy a little bit here and there. Let's come over here, because I think they got sheep. Wait, goats? I don't remember seeing anything on, uh... So, where would I put the goats in with? I can see my farming technology go up. I just saw points go up. That means farmers are doing. Yeah, I don't know where the, where the goats would go. Either way, how much are you little... Uh, 2500 for a lamb. 3500 for a ram. 3000 for sheep. And the young goat's 2,000. So, yeah, I would start off with the lamb, of course. 2,500. So, basically, I need to get my money up to 20, uh, not 26. Um, wait, how much was it? 2,500? I need about 6,500 coins before I even think about buying a lamb at this current stage. Uh, someone here has, oh, they're on the roof. What is it with you people being on the roof? So they built a palisade and a stone wall. I don't think I can get up to that person to have a chat with them. See what they want. It's the only reason why I came here. Can I jump up on the chest? I can. Can I? How much more can I back up? He's looking at me like, what are you doing, dude? I'm trying to glitch through the floor. To see if I can start the conversation. But that's not going to happen. 
All right, so we know the price of the, of the sheep now. The goat stove, uh, what, is it something that's not in the game where I can build yet? Or do I like have to put them in there with the cows? I have no idea. Now let's get my crossbow ready just in case. Now the one thing I didn't try it out on, we went and killed a bear with two shots. I need to find a deer because we know deer take two shots with a longbow and iron arrows. What about a crossbow and iron bolt? Okay, so I got boars up there. I know I got boars over there. I'm not too concerned if I hit a deer and it takes off with my iron bolt. We just want to see if I can do it with one shot. And of course, on the way over here, I saw deer everywhere. I see boars. And I didn't talk to the workers, did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. I did not. Oh, man. That was bad on my part. All right, we'll, we'll go back and, and talk to them. Even though their skills were not the greatest. Because one is diplomacy, and two, if I get a worker, I get a worker. Like I said, right now, I could take them and put them into the barn to help out. And when their skills get up high enough... Where the heck am I? Did I get myself turned around? No, I'm going the right way. Scared the living daylight out of me, though. Alright, st don't stay. I didn't get that close to you. Alright, let's, let's do a regular shot like you normally would. All right, so one shot where you normally would hit it, like to hit it here, did nothing. Can you load it on up? You know what? I'll get that deer at another time. It's already off and running, so <laughs> I'm not going to be too concerned about it. All right, let's go back in here and talk to these workers. the crossbow away because I don't I don't know I kind of been I've been thinking about this for a while I kind of would like to take my crossbow just once and it may not sound right but uh, shoot someone to see what happens <laughs> just to see what happens uh 50 percent seven percent approval um how's the job hope you're doing all right all right she she doesn't mind that that's, that's plus five uh, have you seen a nobleman? Have you heard any gossip lately? Uh, let's try the nobleman who's passing through. Doesn't care about that. All right. I should be writing these things down to what they like, don't like, but I don't. All right. 50% approval. You are younger. Have you seen a nobleman? Have you heard any gossip? Uh, let's try the nobleman. Ooh, 15. Plus 15. Have you seen that noble? Per yeah, you like that, don't you? I'm creating a new settlement. Sounds like what I was looking for. Great, see you there. And right away, I'm going to put her into the barn. So she can start getting some farming up. And she will probably be the one that takes over the fold when we get sheep. Baba sheep. All right, workplace, uh, barn. The question is, do I want you working in the field? I got three field workers seven three and four or do i want to put her into the barn to help create things i think we're just going to go ahead and put be a, a farmer so she'll help my wife and uh yeah who else i got who else i got there see you could have had a nice house to stay in tonight and a job i'm just saying um yeah okay uh so get my crossbow out and we'll get kind of prepared she's going this way now, NPCs usually take the shortest route to, to your village. So, if she's going this way, why shouldn't I go this way? Oh, you're going to walk through where all the boars are, are you? Well, I'm not too sure about that, but I'm going to zip on through here. I really don't care. I do see a boar over there. I'm not really here to hunt. I'm just here just to go back to the village. That's all I want to do. 
if I happen to run across that deer that I shot, then uh, we'll take care of it, but I don't think so. And reload just in case. Well, that's kind of stupid because the second here I want to go ahead and skin it and um, you know, have to reload my bow anyways. My crossbow. Do I get my arrow back though? I don't see it there. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. I'm just trying to kind of curious. Do they attack the villagers when they go through? Doesn't look like it. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the village. Assess the situation that we got going on here. The one thing I think I am going to do, and maybe I'm just going to get right on it, and probably maybe just wrap up the episode, I suppose, maybe, is go back, grab cabbage, grab meat, and start making some pottage because I really had no dishes available to the villagers. Not that I don't think it matters, but uh, I think it's better that we make some dishes. Make some more dishes. I don't, wait, can I put anyone else in, more in the tavern? Or is the tavern full? Uh, tavern. Oh, no, we're full. And they're both busy making things. Uh, roasted meat. Pottage. Why is that at zero? 50% roasted meat. And 50% meat with gravy what time is it are they not working right now because it's showing zero uh yes it's showing zero because uh it's quitting time so they're not making nothing so i'll tell you what i think that's gonna be my plan i got tons of cabbage i got some meat that's getting kind of close to being spoiled and rotten or whatever you want to call it so i think i'm gonna do some food management this evening and then we'll pick it up in day three of fall um, we are getting workers. The problem that we have right now is if I go to management, go to houses, every house has at least two occupants in it, which is one female, one male at this current stage. So, um, yeah, if I need more workers, I'm going to have to build some more houses. I don't have, I, I got to make sure I got room to make a cow barn because we're getting kind of close to that. So I can technically build two more houses, which means four more workers. Yeah, uh, we're putting ourselves to the limit here. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you next time right here in Medieval Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.